I wasn't looking for a new life. I love my wife, and I've always been one that sticks. Life goes on. You act it out about as normal as you can hope for. Rachel's always been the optimist of the two. She had her life planned from the beginning. I used to admire that about her. After a while, all your desires get washed away by the flow of ordinary life. But then, a revelation. What are you doing here? You just caught me on my way out. How are you? Good. 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 Baby. <laughs> What's going on? I've left her. Last night, we argued and it all came out. Richard, you should have called. I have to take Nico to school, then I have to go to work. But why don't I look after Nico? I don't think that's such a good idea. Things are being confusing for him at the moment, you know. I'm walking to school. How hard can that be? It'd be good to spend some time with him, right? Sweetheart, we need to go soon. So go and finish getting ready, okay? Yeah. Wait a minute. What is that? Wow. How many more do you think we can get from in there? Hmm? <clears throat> okay, Nico. Go to your room and get your things. I'll come in a second, okay? Thank you. Richard, I'm very confused. Look, I feel there's a strong enough connection between us that I'm willing to take this chance. <laughs> this is drastic. You're asking me to what? To erase and restart? You don't have to make a decision now. Think about it. I can go. Now, if you want me to. But think about it. Will you? Got enough shit going on already. It's, you know, it's Nico, it's work, it's the divorce, it's the papers. Como? How can you help me? You know what? I don't have time for this now, okay? Nico! Mommy's friend is going to walk you to school, all right? Richard, please. Take good care of him. Go. We'll be fine. When you get back, we'll be best friends. When I get back, we'll discuss all this properly.
Hello? Richard, please have the decency to say something. I'm sorry it's turned out this way. Are you? Weren't we happy? Richard? Yes? You're an asshole. Ready to go, mate. Mummy had to leave in a rush, so I'll be taking you to school today. Hey, we can't have you walking out barefoot, can we? Nico, where are your shoes? be friends. Think we can be friends? I think so. There we go. All set. Wait a second. Don't move. You can keep this one. What do you think? Good boy. In. No, she's left for work. Who are you? I'm a friend of Elisa's. You've seen me here before. Oh? I came to return this to her. I don't remember you. Where's Nico? I'm looking after him today. Nico should be going to school right now. Yes, I know. I'm taking him. But I usually take him to school when Elisa can't do it. Well, she was in a bit of a rush today. Well, she, why didn't she tell me? Well, she must have forgot. Nico, are you all right, love? He's fine. Let's see for yourself. See? All fine. Look, thanks for your concern. I'll tell Elisa you came over. Thanks. Bye now. Nico, we need to go, buddy. Nico, you need to come out. We can play later when you get back from school. Nico? Nico, where are you? Excuse me, sorry, you haven't seen a small child, six years old, running on his own. Okay, sorry. Nico? Where are you? Nico, where are you? No, please, I'm looking for a small boy. Dark hair. This oh, it's playing me! There's a school around here. Do you know where? I've lost a small... <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I've lost a boy. Your son looked like the boy. Get away from us, you maniac. No, please, I made a mistake. Are you completely out of your mind? You can't just grab little boys from the street like that. Is everything okay? No. This lunatic tried to grab my son. Look, he's terrified. What do you think you're doing, mate? You mind your own business? Oh, yeah. Tell that to the police. Oh, God. Well, stop him! Stop pervert! Hey.
Sir. What are you doing? Let me go! Sir. I'm looking for a boy! He ran off! Can you help me? Sir. You idiots! No! Ah! Ah! I can't tell you how sorry I am. I am completely to blame for this. You are to blame, Richard. You're like a child. Do you understand that? I don't want you. I really don't. It's just that we talked about things being different. We talked about many things. But not about you appearing one morning on my doorstep. You're not some kind of magician. No, no I'm not. I'm not sure if you know what you are. Okay? Please, don't call me anymore. Just go home, Richard. Go home. Rachel? What? Hello, Richard. 